over the last couple of months, I've been doing a lot more stuff in this platform called Meteor.js. And um, one of the things I've found works really well is when you combine Meteor with Stripe to accept credit card payments. So in this video, I want to talk about how you can combine um, Stripe with Meteor really quickly and really easily um, to accept payments on your website. So in this first video, I'm going to talk about how you can collect your credit card details from your customer and then turn those credit card details into what's called a Stripe token, which you can then send to your server and in this, which I'll cover in the second video, either directly charge a card or what I'll cover in the third video, which is creating customers, saving those customers to a Meteor user or the customer ID to a Meteor user. And finally, in the fourth video or probably the fifth video, I might do a fourth video of getting the customer information back and displaying it in the UI, depending on how the time works out. And in the fifth video, I'll show you how to charge customers. But to just get started, we're going to have, I have a blank Meteor project here just with the three standard CSS, HTML and JS file as well as a settings.json file. Um, to this project, I'm going to add two packages. I'm going to add Mr. Gallup. Um, this package here, which is a wrapper of the Stripe NPN, um, the Stripe NPM package in a Meteor native way, so you can access it and really easily use it in Meteor, as well as Stripe dot, see, node um, Stripe, as well as Stripe dot JS, which is the front end of Stripe, and the JS file you usually include in your website. Uh, the other The other package I'm going to add is Bootstrap just because it makes everything so much easier to make UIs. It's a bit of a cheap way to build UIs. Okay, so we have those two. Over in my code, as you can see, I have my three files that we're using here, the settings.json file, the stripe.js, uh, sorry, the JS file and the HTML file. I've made a little credit card form here, which I've stolen from another one of my websites, I'm pretty sure. And as you can see, it's just got the card number, the exploration month, year, and CVC code, or the CV code. That's just this little form, and I'll include sort of a starter package that if you want to follow along with these videos, you can start from that, as well as the final result of this video. Over in our JS file, I've cleaned out the is client and is server because we're just going to be putting our code in here. We didn't need what was already there. And finally, I've created a settings.json file. If you've never used uh, the settings.json file in Meteor, I highly suggest you look it up and I'll probably do a video on how to take full advantage of it. But pretty much, it's a file for saving things like keys and you know global variables that you want to be able to access anywhere in your application. Now the settings.json file has this special public directory. Now the public directory is the only things that are sent out to the client. So everything outside of this public directory are only available on the server. What's in that directory is sent out to the client and is accessible from the client. So that's where we're going to put our Stripe publishable key. I'm just calling it Stripe pub. And down here, outside of that public directory, we're going to include our Stripe private key, which I'm just calling Stripe pry. Uh, these aren't my actual Stripe keys, but you'll put your actual Stripe keys in there in a minute. Okay, so that's our settings. And over here, we're going to start setting up our JSON file. Uh, we're going to start setting up our JS file. The first thing we need to do is initialize stripe.js up on the client with our public um, key. Now we want to do this when Stripe starts up on the client. So we're going to use Meteor. Dot startup. And this function runs when Meteor starts up 
and if we put a meteor.startup down here, that will run when the client the server starts up up here. This runs when the client starts up. In here, we want to call stripe.set publishable key. Yeah, that looks right, right? And into this, we want to pass our publishable key from our settings.json. So we want to go meteor dot settings dot public dot uh, stripe pub which is our public key so this will initialize stripe when our uh, our client starts up and the meteor starts up on our client now that we have this set up we're ready to have an event handler that's going to pull in our credit card details punch them into stripe js and get us our token so we want to do this on an event and we're going to do it on the form submit for this payment form here. So I'm just going to copy. No, I don't need to do that. So let's start a template dot body dot events. Of course, there's a directory. And we want to go submit on what is it? Payment form. Payment form. out our events so we can use that to get our details out. Because we're doing in a submit, a submit we want to prevent the default action which would be reloading the page. Dot. So we're going to call event dot prevent. And now we're ready to start doing things. So the first thing we're going to actually do for creating our card token is to get all our card, card details together in a variable. This is where you want to do some verification. There's stuff about verification on Stripe's website. I suggest you have a look at that. Or you can just punch the details into stripe.js and it does some verification and will throw an error when you try and create your token. So there, card details. Now these details are coming from the stripe.js documentation, a link to which I'll include down in the description. If you, in case you want to do something a little bit more complicated or you want to of course build your own implementation which you'll probably want to do. The first detail is the number. Uh, next up we have the CVC. Uh, we have the EXP, EXP month and we have the EXP year. Okay, and now we want to pull these out of the forms. So we want to go event dot target dot whatever the name of this particular um, input is. So this is card number dot value. Of course, end that. And I'm just going to enter these now, so you don't have to and edit this out. Okay, so we've got all our card details in our nice little directory there. Now we're ready to punch them into Stripe.js to get our token out. So Stripe dot create token. And we want to pass in our card details and our callback, which includes a status and a result, a response or whatever you want to call it. Now if first want to check if we have an error in our result so result dot error if there's an error we're going to just let's say well let's just alert the user because it's most likely going to be either connection error or a card um, formatting error so it's the user's problem I just put message after that because that will give us a user facing user friendly message if we don't have an error, we have a token. So otherwise, we'll just uh, log out the result, which will have our token in it. Okay, so that should all run now. Let's start our app up, and we'll go over to Safari and see how. So we've got our website up. As you can see, my terrible little form here. We're going to use a testing um, card from the Stripe documentation here. I'll include a link to this in the description. And we want to put in a date in the future and any CV code. And we're going to press that button. And we have an error. So it's saying we're having 
problems with our publishable key. Now, we are initializing our publishable key, and I've had this problem before. So what we're going to do is seems to not be recognizing our um, settings file. So we're just going to manually tell it to you're using this settings file. So we just go meteor run settings settings dot j some website our website will refresh. Put our card in again, our date and future and our test CV code. We'll press that button again and hopefully this is oh, there it is. There is our token. Our ID there is the token we're going to use. We're even going to send to the server and either create the charge or create a customer. So depending on what you want to do, you can either go to my next video, which is going to be about creating a charge and just directly using this card once to charge the customer, or you can go to the third video in this series, both of which I'll include annotations to. If I don't, remind me because I'm a dumbass. Um, and I'll show you how you can attach this card to a customer in Stripe and attach that Stripe customer to a user in Medium.